Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching our show today, Brook High. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the new iPhone. Guys, the new iPhone is amazing. You want to run out to your local electronics store and purchase it right now. Whoa, Daisy, did you hear that? Brittany says we should get the new iPhone. I know, she's such a star. I love her. Uh, but I haven't saved up enough money yet for the iPhone. That's okay, I know what to do. Mom! Molly, I'm right here. <laughs> you know the downstairs is all one room, right? Yeah, but Mom, I have a question. Uh, please stop crawling on the counter, Molly. I can't afford a new one. Uh, sorry, Mom. I'm just really excited. She's gonna say no. Uh, Daisy, shh! I haven't even asked her yet. Mom, Mom, Mom. Beautiful, Mommy! Okay, Molly, what is it? Spit it out. You are the most radiant, amazing mom on the entire planet. What do you want, Molly? Nothing. I'm just saying you're amazing. Mm, I think you probably are going to ask me for something. Okay. Um, You know how on Brook High they have the brand new iPhones? Uh, yes, Molly, but that's because they got them for free because... That is the show that's, like, most popular right now, so iPhone just gives them to them. Yeah, I know, but, uh, I want the new iPhone, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a big ask, Molly. Um, I, I, I don't think that I can afford that right now. I'm really sorry. <gasps> what? But, but, Mom, my old phone is like a flip phone. It's so old. I'm pretty sure the dinosaurs called each other on my phone. Well, Molly, just be thankful you actually have a phone. A lot of girls your age don't have a phone at all. Yeah, Molly, try to be appreciative. Mm, this apple's delicious, Mom. Ugh, can't believe it. I can't get the new iPhone. I could have told you that, Molly. Duh. I cannot believe that I just won a bazillion dollars. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Uh, a new laptop, of course. They're also our sponsor for this video. Oh, my gosh. Now the stars from Rags to Riches are getting new um, iPads. I definitely want one of those or a new laptop. Ooh, I could use that for school. I'm going to go ask Mom. Uh, yeah, good luck with that. Already asked for a new iPhone and she said no. But this is for school. It's necessary. My laptop keeps freezing. Mom! Yes, Daisy, what is it? Dinner's going to be ready soon. My laptop keeps freezing whenever I try to do my schoolwork. Oh, man. We're going to have to take it into Best Buy then, and maybe they can figure out why. No, Mom, you don't understand. This this computer is so old, I can't use it anymore. Um, well, we're going to have to make it work because uh, I can't afford a new one right now. Even with all the overtime at work, I have to pay the mortgage and the car payment and... Even your dad's mowing the grass instead of hiring someone else to do it. We have to all pitch in during this rough time. But mom, I need a new iPad or a new laptop to do my schoolwork. Daisy, I told you we could go to the Best Buy and see if they can fix your laptop. But, but, told you Daisy. I knew she wasn't going to say yes. Hey, what happened to TV? Oh, I'm so tired from mowing that grass. It's like a thousand degrees outside. Ah. Dad, I'm so sorry you're dying, but what happened to cable? I need TV. Oh, your mother and I canceled that so we could save some money. What? No! No new iPhone, no new laptop, and no cable? I can't take this anymore. I've got to get out of here. I'm coming with you, Molly. Girls, wait a minute. If you're going out, I need something from the grocery store. Ugh, really? We've got to go do an errand? Yes, Molly, please. I I need some eggs so I can finish what I'm making for dinner. Okay, fine. Can I buy a candy bar? No, Molly. Of course you can't. You don't have enough money for that. But I want a candy bar.
candy bar. No, Molly, I need eggs. Don't buy a candy bar with that money. Okay, Mom, fine. Come on, Daisy. Ugh. I don't like being poor. Being poor stinks. I agree, Molly, I agree. Now remember what Mom said, Molly. No buying a candy bar as much as you want it. Well, hello there. Welcome to my grocery store. Hi. Um, I only have enough money for some eggs. Where are those? Uh, back right-hand corner. Hey, Luke, what's up? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, uh, working at the grocery store tonight. The lottery is up to a hundred... What? The lottery is up to a hundred million dollars? I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! And it's said that the winning ticket is in Brookhaven? Holy guacamole! I'm yeah, I'm gonna buy some tickets. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna yeah, it's gonna be awesome if I win. I'm gonna move to the beach. I'm never gonna work at the grocery store again! Daisy, did you hear that? Hear what, Molly? The sound of my stomach growling? I hope dinner's ready when we get home. No, the grocery store worker. He said that the lotto was up to a hundred million dollars. Holy guacamole! He also said the winning ticket is at one of these stores in Brookhaven. Wow, that's insane. Whoever wins is going to be really lucky. Now let's get the eggs and go home. I'm hungry. Don't you see, Daisy? We gotta buy the winning ticket. How are we going to do that, Molly? Don't be ridiculous. We're going to do it because we're going to use this $3 to buy the winning lotto ticket. What? No, we're not. We have to use that for eggs. Yeah, but if we buy the winning lotto ticket, we don't have to worry about eggs. We could buy a bazillion eggs. Molly, how do you know you're going to buy the winning ticket? Um, well, um, I don't know. I'm just having faith it's all going to work out. What's going to happen is you're going to spend that $3. We're going to go home and there's not going to be any dinner. You could be grounded for a week. Well, Daisy, I'm buying the lotto ticket. Molly, you're not going to buy the lotto ticket. D Daisy, let me out of this car. Don't, don't you dare. Get, let me out of this car. I'm buying it. I'm buying it, Daisy. Get back here, Molly. You're not spending Mom's money. I am spending Mom's money. Daisy, did you seriously just put me back in the car? Daisy, I'm not three years old. Stop it. Are you going to act more mature about the money mom gave you? Yes, I will buy the eggs. Are you sure? Yep. Come on, let's go over and get them right now. <laughs> I'd like the um, winning lotto ticket, please. Well, there's no way I know if you're going to actually get the... Just sell me the ticket. Okay, fine. Here you go. Molly, no. You spent the money on a lotto ticket, Naughty! Naughty, you're grounded. Daisy, I'm not your kid. Stop putting me in the... Stop putting me in the cart! Fine, Molly, you're so naughty. I don't even want you in my cart. This is all your fault. I don't even know you. You're dead to me. Oh my gosh, my sister's so annoying. Good luck with that ticket. You know, I'm going to buy the winning lottery ticket. Okay, fine. We'll see about that. Hey, Daisy, where's the eggs so I can finish up making dinner? Uh, ask Molly about that? I had nothing to do with this, Mom. I cannot be blamed. Mom, Mom, guess what? Um, you were able to get a two-for-one deal on the eggs? And then we can have her for breakfast in the morning, too. No, Mom, I spent the money on something else. What? I told you not to buy a candy bar. I needed those eggs, Molly. This is what feeds our family. What were you thinking? You're grounded. What? No, I can't be grounded. I didn't buy a candy bar. Then what did you buy? A lottery ticket! What? You gambled with our money? Are you crazy right now? Oh, that makes me so mad, Molly! But you don't even know if it's a winner! Go to your room, Molly. Go right now! Fine. Well, Molly, that worked out real well. But when I scratch it off and everybody sees I'm a winner... Molly, you're not going to win. Well, let's find out. Daisy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Molly, what is it? Oh my gosh, 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 oh my gosh! Molly, are you pranking me right now? What's going on? Molly, stop talking gibberish! What's wrong with you? Did you bonk your head? What's going on? Oh my gosh. Is that a, is that a winning lotto?
lottery ticket for a hundred m m m m m m m million dollars, Daisy. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh yeah. I'll come back to you when you're actually awake. Mom, 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 Molly. I can't talk to you right now, okay? I'm really stressed about money, and I don't have any eggs to <laughs> feed you guys, and I'm just really worried. I'm going to have to take another job, I think, if I can even get one. Mom, your problems are over. What are you talking about? That lotto ticket that I got, it, it's a winner. What, for like a free ticket or something? How's that going to help us? Mom, no, it's it's the big winner. A hundred million dollars. What? L let me see that. Oh my gosh! Oh! oh my gosh! Is there anybody in this house that hasn't passed out? Where's Dad? Hey, everybody! We won a we met we met we won a hundred million dollars. All of our troubles are over. Dad, what exactly are you doing? It's the day we're supposed to move into our new mansion. I'm just so excited. I can't stop dancing. I can't stop dancing. Is that a new song you wrote, Dad? Yeah, I'm thinking about becoming a musician now that I don't have to have a job. I can't stop dancing. This is my signature dance move. Uh, Dad, it's just weird. Nope, nope, nope. Raise a roof, raise a roof. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, Dad. You're even weirder when you're rich. Well... I'm allowed to be weird. I have all the money in the world! Let's move these moving boxes to our new mansion! Oh boy, my dad is so crazy right now. Ah, now this is the life I was talking about. No one wanted to believe that my winning lotto ticket would actually be, well, a winner. But look where we are now! I have to agree, Molly. I thought you were insane, but this place is, well... It's off the hook! And, um, I'm really glad you bought that winning lotto ticket, Molly. Am I still grounded then, Dad? Oh, uh, that's a difficult one to answer. Go ask your mother! Come on, Daisy, come see my new sports car! I've got one of my own, Molly. Whoa! Okay, yeah, I want to ride in yours. That's just because you can't drive, Molly, and I'm a better driver. No, you're not! I'm a fine driver! Uh huh, sure. Says the girl who put mom's car in the lake. Okay, that was a little bit of a mistake. You think, cheapos? Oh my gosh, Daisy. We have so much nice stuff now. Like, we've got a mansion. We've got nice cars. We have amazing clothes. We have, we have, the newest iPhones. What are we gonna do with all this money that's left over? I don't know, Molly. What what do you think we should do with it? Hmm. Daisy, I think I have the perfect idea. What are you doing, Molly? Why are you going over there by the dumpsters? I just saw something when we were driving by. Oh, I'm so hungry. I hope this dumpster food doesn't make me sick. Ew, why are you eating from the dumpster? That's disgusting. Um, you could go to the dino. They have regular food. Daisy, he's eating from the dumpster because he doesn't have any money. Oh, Wow, that's really sad because I still have like 90 million dollars and... Daisy! Probably not a good idea to tell him that you have tons of money while he's sitting here eating from the dumpster. Sorry, I guess I just get a little nervous when I don't know what to say or do. Well, I know exactly what to do. Hey, I've got something for you here. Whoa, uh, seriously? Yeah, there's like, um, $500,000 here. What? F five five hundred thousand dollars Yeah, it's enough to buy you a small house. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, did he die? Ah, the homeless man died! No, I just can't move. Partially because I just got $500,000, and partially because I ate something rotten from the dumpster. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah, you don't have to eat from the dumpster ever, ever again. How could I ever repay you? Huh. I can't wait to go to my own house where I have a bathroom because I'm probably going to have to throw up. Oh, man, that stinks. Yeah, don't eat from a dumpster ever again. Here's $500,000. You could buy food and everything you need. Oh, there was there was this work truck I wanted to get because I'm super good at construction and I wanted to start fixing stuff up and, and, and now I can afford to start my own business. I'll never be homeless again. How could I ever thank you? What's your name? Come on, Daisy. 
don't even tell him our name. Let's just do it and be good Samaritans. Molly, look at the orphanage. It really looks a bit fun down. Maybe we could donate some money to them too. That's a great idea, Daisy. Let's do this. Hi, are you my mommy? Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just a teenager. I can't be your mommy. Oh, I really need a mommy. This place is really run down. Oh, I'm sorry, but look, my sister and I are going to um give the orphanage $2 million, and it's going to be a lot nicer for you, okay? Are you sure? Are you sure it'll be nicer? Yep, until your mommy or daddy comes to find you. Aw, uh, thanks so much. We're just going to leave the bag of cash by heel. Hello, can I help you? You two are a bit young to be adopting. But I see that our little Kelly really loves you. Aw, she's super nice. Maybe I could volunteer here sometime. Anyway, we have something we'd like to give you. Two million dollars. Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Is that Monopoly money? No, it's real money. We won the lottery, but we don't need all this money, so we're giving some to you. Seriously? Yeah, please use it for the orphanage and make it a nice place for all the kids. Oh my gosh, the kids right now are out on the playground, except for little Kelly. She kind of didn't want to go out today. She just wanted to hang out inside. They're going to be so excited when they come in and they see this money. And I can tell them we're going to buy new toys and we only have one crib here for all the kids. What? That's horrible. Yeah, everybody's been sleeping on those mats on the floor over there. Every kid deserves to have their own bed. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, girls. This means the world. You're welcome. Bye, Kelly. I follow you. You could be my mommy. Sorry, Kelly, but I could come back next week and maybe I could be your big sister. I love that. Yeah, come back. Hello, this is Molly. Hello, Molly. This is the mayor of Brookhaven. I'd like for you to come down to the courthouse. Um, look, if this is about me driving my mom's car into the pool, I'm really sorry. What? You... You were the one that did that? Uh, no, 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 uh, never mind, I didn't say anything. Please come over to the courthouse right away. Okay, I'll, I'll tell my sister now. Come on, Daisy, we have to go to the courthouse. For what, Molly? I don't know. I hope we're not in trouble. Me too, Molly, me too. Well, here's the mayor's office. Here goes nothing. H hello Hello, Molly, nice to see you. Um, if you're going to give me detention, my teacher does that enough. <laughs> I'm not going to give you detention, but I am going to wait for your sister Daisy to get here, because this is for both of you. Oh, gosh. What kind of trouble are we in? I have to give my mom a heads up. What'd she do now? Why are you assuming it was just me, Daisy? Because, Molly, I'm an angel and you're the demon. What? Actually, I think you're both angels. Really? Why? Well... I've been told that the two of you have been donating large sums of money to people in need. Seriously? You, you heard about that? The mail? I sure did, and I want to let you know that you guys have won Citizen of the Year of Brookhaven. We usually only pick one person, but since you both helped, we're going to pick two this year. Whoa! That's amazing! What do we get for it? You get these trophies. They're made out of solid gold. Whoa! And you get free ice cream from the ice cream shop downstairs for the entire year. Oh my god, that's amazing! I mean, we still have millions of dollars, so we could just buy ice cream, but that's the thought that counts. We don't need any rewards, Mr. Whip Mayo. We just wanted to do it because it was the right thing to do. Well, I can tell you that you girls are quite amazing. I'm very proud of you. Wow! Hey, uh, one thing money can't buy is, um, a get-out-of-detention-free card for the year. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't have that kind of power of the teacher. Oh, man! Wow, Molly, this has been the best sleepover of my entire life. Like, your house has an elevator. That is insane! It's like a resort! And you have this amazing hot tub? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm so glad I could share it with my best friend. Me too, Molly. Me too. Hey, Dad, can we have a snack before we go to bed? Girls, it's like it's like 1 a.m. Aren't you tired yet? I'm getting so tired. I can't stay up any longer. You can go to bed, Dad. You don't have to stay up as long as we do or anything. <laughs> but I am going to get something to eat. 
Brookie, do you want a snack? Yeah, totally. Okay, let's see what we what we have. Okay, Brookie, are you hungry for like real food like pizza or an ice cream? Um, both? <laughs> Brookie's starving. Okay, I'm gonna get both. Mm, that is delicious. Okay, I also need some ice cream. Okay, I got both, Brookie. I'm over here in the hot tub still, Molly. Uh, Brookie, if you are in the hot tub when you're eating ice cream, you're literally, why am I washing my hands? <laughs> you're literally gonna have your ice cream melt. Maybe you're washing your hands because you got chocolate ice cream all over them. Mmm, this is delicious. Yeah. When you're at a sleepover, you can totally eat your dessert first and then your dinner. Yeah, that's true. Mmm. The pizza's delicious too. Molly, are you kidding me? There's a pool under your kitchen. Yeah, isn't this place awesome? I love our new house in Brookhaven. Should we go get in the pool for a while? I don't know. It's like 2 a.m. Let's do it. Whoa, it looks so refreshing. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I love this pool. It's amazing. Whoa, it's super deep. Oh, um, gee, I just swam all the way to the bottom and back. It's all lit up, too. I love that. Your house is so cool. I seriously want to be your sister. I would love it if you were my sister. Maybe I could trade you in for Daisy. I mean, Daisy in for you. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Daisy would miss being your sister, though. Um, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> I think maybe she'd want to get rid of me if she could. Molly, I had so much fun. I don't even want to go to sleep because then it'll be tomorrow and the sleepover will be over. I know, but you can always come for another sleepover, I promise. Aw, Molly, you're my best friend. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Molly, Brookie, are you guys ever going to get out of bed today? Huh? What? Too early. Girls, it's almost noon. Ah, we were up till like 2.30 in the morning. Girls, come on. I'll make something delicious for breakfast. Brookie, are you awake? Yeah, sort of. Geronimo! Ow, Molly, you totally jumped on me. Sorry, I guess that was a bad idea. <laughs> Next time, I'll use the ladder. Oh, I'm so cozy and comfy in bed right now. I don't feel like getting out. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna miss pancakes then. Did somebody say pancakes? I'll be right there. This house is so big, I forget which way I'm going. <laughs> oh yeah, the elevator's over here. Wait for me, Molly. That was some party last night, wasn't it, Brookie? Totally, I stayed up way too late. Okay, girls, how about some breakfast? Yeah, Dad, sounds delicious. All right, let's see. I could make you some burgers. Burgers? Dad, ew! What? It's lunchtime. <laughs> and besides, I ate all the pancakes. It's okay. I'm fine with eating a burger. See, Brookie's fine. Okay, fine. I'll have a burger, too. A breakfast burger. I don't think that's a thing, Dad. Mm. These are really good, actually. I agree. Mm. So delicious. Glug, 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 glug. I'm so thirsty after doing all that swimming last night. You guys went swimming? Huh. You must have a lot of energy. Totally. It's because we're not old. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, Dad, but you are kind of old. Okay, Brookie. Well, we better do our morning routine. Ugh, I don't want to do my morning routine. Why not, Brookie? Because if I do my morning routine, it means I have to go home. Brookie, trust me. You're going to be able to come back again. It's not like you're going to have to stay away forever. I know, but I just... I love having a sleepovers at your house and, like... Ah, oh, they just go by so fast. Yeah, I know. La 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 la. <sighs> I need to wake myself up. Seriously, I was up way too late last night. Can't even believe it. <laughs> ah, that water's freezing. Okay, I'm awake. I'm awake. <sighs> burr, burr, burr. Uh, Molly, what's going on? Uh, I took a shower and the water was freezing. I have no idea why. You should have a hot cup of cocoa. That'll make you feel lots better. That's a great idea. Mmm, this is super good. Well, Brookie, oh, Brookie already left. <laughs> she must be taking her shower and getting ready. 
I cannot believe how amazing Molly's house is. Like, oh, they must be so rich or something. My house doesn't look anything like this. Oh, well, at least I can come visit her whenever I want to. <laughs> la, 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 la. Brookie, I hear you singing in the shower. Oh, sorry, but I like to sing in the shower. P-I-G-G-Y. Piggy is after me. I love that song. Me too, Molly. Well, I've decided you definitely have to be my sister instead of Daisy. Really? Why? What made you think that? Because you don't take three hours in the bathroom. Daisy has to do her pigtails just so. Then she has to put on makeup. Then she has to polish her nails. Ugh, we're always late when she has to, like, be all beautiful. You take, like, three seconds and you're out of the bathroom just like me. <laughs> I think we were meant to be sisters. I really do, Molly. Yeah, or best friends for life. Absolutely. You know what? I just had a great idea. What, Molly? Well, what if the sleepover just doesn't end? What are you talking about? <laughs> I don't live here. Yeah, but it's only Saturday, and it's not like we have to go to school tomorrow. I think we should ask my dad if you can spend the night again. Seriously? Okay, I don't think I can stay up till 2.30, though. That was insane. Yeah, I'm serious. Do you want to? Absolutely. Okay, let me go ask my dad. Dad? Dad? Oh, you girls kept me up so late last night. Dad, why are your arms stuck out like that? I'm trying to sit up, but it's not working. <laughs> Dad, you're so old. Um, that's not very nice. Did you want something? Because you're not really selling your case here. <laughs> Dad, sorry, I didn't mean to call you old. I mean, you are old, but I really didn't have to point it out. Molly? Sorry, okay. I'm really bad at asking for things, I guess. I don't know. You asked me for an iPhone like every other day. <laughs> Dad, I was wondering, can Brookie Cookie spend the night again? Oh, uh, I don't know. You girls are up so late. Yeah, we're only going to stay up to like 2 tonight instead of 2.30. Wow, Molly, that's really late. Oh, uh, uh, boy. Um, yeah, okay. Woohoo! Come on, Brookie, we have to plan our whole other night of dun dun dun, a second sleepover! Yes!